Hello my dear Pisces, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between September the 1st to September 15, 2016 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I'm sorry for the sign but I uh, want you to check that you are on the right channel because I have had some problems with people copying my channel and um, I don't want people to get fooled that uh, they are on my channel and and they are on someone else's so if it's not the right channel name queen of cups tarot you you can switch and find my channel instead uh, okay so and if you would like a personal reading with me you can contact me at queen of cups tarot at outlook.com you will find my email in the description box below So, I call the Divine uh, with love and light, and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world, and I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether, uh, to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading uh, for my dear Pisces. Uh, I want my Pisces uh, viewers to be guided towards loving relationships creative success and towards their highest path regarding spiritual enlightenment and their highest destiny. So Pisces, the first part of September 2016. What's in store for Pisces during this time? So I'll just tune in a little bit. Pisces. Okay. Uh, this is the past and foundation. This is the now and here's your future. So the first card for you, Pisces, is uh, Queen of Cups. So this may be you. Uh, this is a person that's uh, fairly intuitive and uh, vulnerable uh, and also uh, really pure and honest and they want to um, share like unconditional love with the world they are usually a bit uh, uh, clairvoyant or have a really good intuition because emotions are communication from your soul and uh, if you are close to your emotions you are close to the communication from your soul so therefore she's intuitive this queen of cups and the next card I have for you is Three of Swords. And it's usually this story that when you are loving and vulnerable, you get taken advantage of. And Three of Swords are like telling you that maybe you need sometimes uh, to really listen to what people say and see their behavior really clear uh, so that you can take a logic decision regarding love and love relationships and uh, partnerships and friendship and maybe uh, sometimes people are using uh, like empaths um, because it's easy because they are loving and it's up to you to see this now and to take a responsibility for this because it's not good for you and it's not good for the people using you because they get bad karma and you get a broken heart so nobody wins uh, and it's up to you to put up like borders and lines and and to have like um, your values intact you need to look that you have your values and that people that you're surrounding yourself with are sharing them and if they're not you need to tell them you need to put up boundaries and rules for people if they should be with you and talk to you and come close to you how do you want them to behave it's up to you to make those boundaries and if they are not fitting if they don't fit into uh, your rules that you have for letting people close to your heart well skip them tell them bye bye you need to be strong you need to have control over your own life so four of pentacles this is about making a little bit more walls maybe for yourself if you are the person that's really empathic and easily 
gives your heart away to per people. You need to put up boundaries and put up a wall against yourself and protect yourself. This is someone that doesn't want to share and they feel safe. And I know that you don't need this because uh, like an empath, like a person really close to their feelings, they don't usually fear their feelings so much. They can be like broken hearted and left and everything and they will still like go on loving it's really like a naive wonderful unconditional love uh, but for now we need to do this a little bit different we need to put out boundaries for ourselves and protect ourselves so maybe you have a person in your surrounding doing this like they have been really sweet open towards you loving towards you and suddenly they say no enough is enough and this is really great because this is what's happening all around the world right now. People uh, finally start listening to their own emotions and following the advice that comes with them. Comes with them. So if they feel like every time they are around you, their heart is screaming because they don't get enough love and attention, well, then they are going to make the decision of taking uh, their love and take care of themselves and put up boundaries and not let people like just use and abuse them and take their energy anymore so this could be you or a person in your surrounding doing this putting up boundaries not wanting to get hurt anymore and five of wands so uh, this could be like a person that wants to penetrate through those uh, walls and with uh, like uh, making a conflict out of it but just stand firmly on your walls and say, no, this is what I want. This is what I need. And if you don't share my values and if you don't share my goals with my life, uh, then we can't be together because we need to have same goals if we are going to work together. Because from now on, from here and now, you are going to work together with people that uh, you see eye to eye with and have... Um, a little better understanding for it. it's good to mix up people like to have people from different kind of camps to mix up together to get uh, like um, an exchange but it isn't up to the empaths to fix this it's like up to everyone to get some kind of understanding and the empaths now they need to have better boundaries they need to put themselves first and listen to themselves first have themselves as their highest authority in the world so it could be really hard for an empath to put up boundaries, but it's need to be done. And they need to not let in people who has, uh, uh, who, who don't see eye to eye with them. Uh, so they need to learn to sort. Okay, this is a person that uh, I'm likely not going to have arguments with um, on a daily basis because we have the common goals. It could be like a relationship. Someone wants to have like a more casual relationship and the other one wants to get married. Well, uh, they don't have the same goals. So uh, they need to take a, dis a discussion about this and maybe go their separate ways and find someone that has the same goals as do they. So the next card is Queen of Pentacles. And this is a woman that's really uh, uh, logic, uh, but like book smart logic. So she knows a lot of things. Um, uh, she understands things, uh, how relationships work, how workplaces work, how um, things in the world work, politics, things like this. Uh, and she's really uh, like um, willing to share this information with other people. And sometimes she could be a, a bit uh, like headstrong, not wanting to budge a little bit of a best visitor sometimes, but not likely. She's really warm, friendly. Uh, she takes care of people in her surrounding. And the bad traits with her can be like a little bit of stubbornness and maybe um, an unwillingness to forgive sometimes. Um and that's why uh, because she's so open and, and giving and when someone takes something from her, she will be really um, sad by this and like really heartbroken. Uh, so we have the seven of swords here. So that's someone that has a bit of a bad um, confidence. Maybe they don't they think, well, it's no idea. I leave. This is not working. So I'm going to go. And um, 
it can also be someone that's keeping secrets for you from you don't want to tell you everything they are like really secretive they can be secretive about really stupid things like what they ate for breakfast or whatever but it's because um, they want to protect themselves and they want to have everyone on arm's length uh, so they don't get hurt and it's like they have already uh, decided that the world is full of evil people and 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 therefore without knowing it they are doing exactly the same thing against other people that they don't want to be exposed to themselves and it's like this when you meet a person that's uh, not really nice usually they are afraid and uh, they are trying to protect themselves in the best way they know how and this one hasn't really solved this in a very great way um, they may uh, like put everyone on an arm's length even the one that could give them love and attention and so be mindful of that when you put out boundaries uh, that you don't uh, um, sort what kind of person can you open up to and which one uh, shouldn't you which one can you trust and which shouldn't you and sometimes you trust the wrong persons and it's just to deal with it and it's just to say okay i i don't trust you anymore so um now i know you don't have to make like such a big thing out of it like oh he's betrayed me no that person just tried to live their life in the best way they could it's always like this it's often like this and you can't really understand other people before you have walked a mile in in their shoes uh, so but this is a person a bit deceitful so it's a little bit of a warning and here we have a king of cups so it will be an offering maybe of love of a new work friendship whatever but this king is surrounded by three of swords and seven of swords so he can be surrounded by your ver worst fears it could be you this one uh, that's surrounded by uh, fears uh, like you are getting scared of life maybe and to be vulnerable but the king of cups is really emotions and and the Queen of Cups is the same. They are like swimming in emotions all day. So uh, they should be used to the pain. like And know that it's just communication. It's a lot of information. It's a great source of information from your soul. So don't try to avoid your feelings. They are there for a reason. They are there to communicate with you. Tell you important stuff like whom you can trust and who you can't. And what you like and what you don't like. It's information. It's not there to hurt you. It's there to guide you. So you need to see this. Uh, two of swords. So hmm, something is going on here. It could be two water signs. Um, one water sign may have, have a lot of bad experience in the past. And they are like have given up a little bit I think. It's like they are not talking not want to share because of an old old pain that hurts them through and through this could be a water person but it could be anyone someone brooding right now not want to share not want to talk not want to tell you why they are hurt so they are keeping it to themselves and here's the ten of cups and it comes underneath the five of wands so i guess even if you don't see eye to eye right now with some important person persons in your life you still love them and there's still a foundation of a lot of love and uh, the queen of pentacles here comes with three of pentacles and three of pentacles it's like communicating working together trying to do something that's better than it were before like talking about it try both need to all the per persons involved in this need to talk need to come from come to some kind of conclusion and everyone needs to put in some effort um, it's not up to just one so if the other don't want to do the work and you are the only one want to like try to work on the relationship well wait until they are willing uh, if you are worth enough to them they will come to you and they will uh, be able to work on the relationship and talk things out but until then maybe you need to keep them at a distance um, but the queen of pentacles looks like someone that could uh, be stable enough to s help in some sense uh, so an earth sign person have their feet on the earth and um, even if it needs to be a little arguments here like with the, the five of wands here 
uh, so it could be like really nice uh, discussions as well and love uh, so maybe you can have some help from an earth sign person or someone really stable it could be like a teacher a guidance a counselor or something mm -hmm. and three of pentacles it's also about uh, being skilled both uh, with work with the communication it could be um, health also improving with the ten of cups here and the three of pentacles healing uh, so in the future then then we have the queen of swords so we have a queen in every corner now this is the queen of swords uh, so a lot of feminine energy but it's good the feminine it's on the march, you know, everything is coming from the uh, divine source, the divine mother, uh, everything. The sun comes from every matter in the world and uh, the male energy, it's the light, what comes from the sun. But the sun, the material that's there, it's the, it's the goddess. So the goddess is the bow and the male energy is the arrow that's sent out to explore the goddess and to find out uh, her boundaries and to try to understand everything she she's so abundant you know all uh, the mat uh, all the scientific mysteries uh, we are her on we have uh, like sending out a lot of um, uh, scientists and wise persons to try to understand our earth our universe ourselves our bodies everything but uh, life is so profoundly intelligent uh, so we will maybe never understand and if we had the brain that had the capacity to understand what the nature is and how it works well we may not be able to carry it on our head so uh, this is the queen of swords so she's really mental and she has a di direct line from her soul through her sharp mind so she may be able to understand what's going on and see things really clear and maybe even tell the truth. And she's all about justice as well. Sometimes she can be a bit uh, overprotective of herself and bitchy even. But uh, she makes things happen. She makes things uh, people uh, like uh, acting and behaving. So she's a very strict person, strict teacher and... Um, um we'll see what's happened with this but it's like um she understands something here and the moon yes okay you have the king of cups uh, the queen of swords and the moon so people need to address their feelings need to maybe go deep down in depression uh, depression it's a scary place you know everyone wants to avoid it but in the moon it's where we store our um, it's where the divine has stored all the uh, information and in the subconscious you can get a lot of contact with a lot of information that you can't like hold in your mind in your brain because it's not enough room but the subconscious has stored everything so if you go down deep in depression or in your deepest fears and nightmares and sorrows and sadness and regrets and everything, uh, you will have a lot of information there. And if you just stay with those feelings, it will be like um, installed in you, this information. So you will be a wiser person for it. It's like going deep, deep in a dark forest or uh, visiting the netherworld like hell. And like it's in many legends and stories about this, how you do this. And when you go down here in the Pisces or Cancer waters, it's the kingdom of feelings, you will have a lot of information. And as you are a water sign, you will have most benefit from this because it's uh, really your uh, element of communication. All people communicate with their source through their feelings, but you are like one step ahead of everyone else. So we have an uh, upper hand on this. Uh, so um, explore your nightmares, explore your worst fears, explore your suffering, stay with it, investigate it, try to understand it, try to uh, 
um, and also um, be sympathetic against your feelings. Uh, see them as small children coming and uh, giving you uh, opportunity to to heal their the awi awi. If they have uh, uh, problems, maybe they have scratched their knee. You can uh, take care of that, and so it will be like small children in you coming to you and telling you, "I have awi awi on different places." Maybe the heart, someone let them down, the stomach, they are getting nervous, something has made them nervous, and heartbreak and, you know, sorrow of all the kind. So it's like collecting all those, it's like memories, you know, um, something else with, uh, with information. It's very easy to store information in water, so water is information and memories. So tears, you know, when tears come, it's like memories of something that you have been through. It's tears, memories, okay? So you will find a lot of things down here if you're there, if you're courageous enough to go down here. And um, it will benefit your life. You will find a lot of your talents down here, a lot of your strength, other things that you may need in the future because it's like we are collecting all our soul parts and now it seems like you are collecting a lot of information you have all the queens here and the moon card as well in the middle you have the two of swords so it's like you don't want to feel your feelings you don't want to have this information but you need to relax and just let it come to you just let the emotions swallow you you will be a better person for it so it looks like you may have to leave a person during this period, uh, but they will come back to you. It's just a time where you're not speaking to each other, I think. And it's because you need to put up boundaries and you will also need to uh, go down in your suffering and heal yourself. Uh, so yes, nine of pentacles, no cups. So this is a wish card. You can wish for what you want to have. But usually with this card, it's like you already have the person that you were supposed to be with. Um, you may already be in love with them. And it's uh, a lot of things that you need to sort out. Maybe some old karma. Uh, some a woman being like detached from her emotions. Because of past hurt maybe. Because of past betrayal. Maybe she was really vulnerable with love. But then she felt betrayed. And she got cold and icy. And now she needs to get contact with her feelings again. And he I say her because I see a her, but it can easily be a him. So don't um, think that this is um, gender. It's not gender. It's um, These cards is usually actions. Uh, this is an action of speaking the truth. This is an action of uh, holding unconditional love. This is an action of taking care of yourself, others, the environment, information. And this is an action of healing oneself and uh, others. It's like um, a shaman healing their environment, like holding the grid. But they are not able to because they don't have contact with their feelings because of some hurt. They are like utterly surrounded by swords and moon. So moon is the way out. Swords are um, swords. Are swords. So it's like, and it's those swords are... <sighs> also sharing information but this is sharing information of and not being courageous enough about uh, having hurt old hurt that you haven't really addressed and not wanting to address your feelings and this is needing to address your feelings the next card i have is eight of pentacles so someone has a relationship they uh, the relationship they are supposed to have and this is just an ongoing work even if it's a split even if you're not talking to each other for the moment it looks like uh, it's still going to be you you have the ten of cups here as well um, so if this is a broken friendship a broken partnership a broken love affair uh, it looks like it's going to be fixed but the work is to go deep down in the depression fears nightmares moon you need to find your information there to heal yourself. When you heal yourself, you heal others as well. And the last card I have is death. So this is utter transformation. It's like, uh, yes, this is why you need all your soul parts. Because it's like you are going to go through a gateway now. And you are going to be totally changed after this. 
and but i think you are going to have this relationship still with you uh, but it's death here um i will take another card for the death uh, because it looks like here like you are going to continue working on a relationship and people are going to be utterly changed uh really changed so i want to see just if the relationship holds through this it's it's for some of you it may not but uh, uh, we'll see anyway so death hermit okay and nine of it's two nines nine is hermit and we have nine of swords uh, so this is what i'm talking about this is about going uh, deep down in your own self like being alone and feeling your fears your worst nightmares so this is the work that will lead to transformation utter transformation and so this is something you need to do now and it's going to make you a much more uh, better person both for yourself and for others uh, and when you have healed yourself like this you will be like a really powerful soul on earth because you have made room for your soul in your body when you clean out all the gutter that you have here and uh, you will spread your energy you will hold the grid as this king of cups as this king of pisces and you will uh, share this with the world uh, when you do this other people will follow so many people will be enlightened during these years to come and your time is now but you need to address your feelings because uh, when you clean out uh, your canal like deep down in your uh, in your source uh, you will be much more able to communicate with your soul and you will shine more brightly up on earth so i will take some advice cards for you from the wisdom of the hidden realms uh, yes okay it's the swan queen so it's the transformation going to right now so you need intuition and patience uh, and a lot of alone time maybe sitting out in nature maybe close to water could be good even if it's frozen like this and this is two swans uh, and swans they mate for life and it's not spring it's winter but some green is coming here and she's really warm so it's like you're waiting for a spring but for now you need to stay with yourself like in yourself and and make this um, soul transformation that your soul will have place in your body um, and this is the eagle king so you have people on the other side really loving you and watching over you and wanting the best for you so they are when you can't see uh, when you are down in the moon and depression they will lead you the way so follow the signs they may put up signs for you it could be a synchronistic event like you're seeing the same object like feathers pencils whatever same sort of car they just tell you what you that they are there sometimes they give you also information if you see only a certain kind of car maybe you need to figure out what that means and also they will come like with animals animals are really um uh, they really try to help us to give us information about what kind of uh, journey we are making right now so if you see a badger all the time or a fox or some kind of bird you can look into that you can look uh, search for google for example like uh, indian symbols um, badger and you will find uh, a lot of interesting things and actually badger i say badger because the moon card is very connected the moon and the death and the hermit is very connected with the badger because badger is like it's a really trooper and they they live in the netherworld and they have they are like it's a spiral gateway down to the netherworld so they are almost like those dogs here like the kerberos dogs watching the entrance to the moon um, so uh, animals could be very uh, good symbols so when you see an animal showing up uh, they want to tell you something usually so check it up with the eagle king uh, you will have a lot of uh, information like this okay so 
you have a lot of phobias with the karmic relationship right now so that's what you need to that's why you need to go down to the moon you can have really high emotions like feeling um, over emotional to the situation and it's not over emotional to the situation it's a karmic uh, relationship that reminds you of some phobias like some things some old pain that you have been through so by just staying in this pain you will transform it with the moon here and you will uh, re release yourself from this karma so you can love each other without all the fuss later on so that would be nice yes okay uh, so i show you uh, the spread here from above and um, thank you so much for all of you uh, liking subscribing commenting and just watching my videos it's um, i'm very grateful for all the attention and to be able to share this with you so i hope uh, to see you again uh, in the middle of september so take really good care until this then and don't forget to Transform your pain. Stay in the pain. 10 minutes a day, 1 hour, 2 hours. As long as it takes. Just pick up the most un uncomfortable feeling and stay with it. Welcome it. Give it attention. Say hello. I accept you. Welcome. And just try to stay with it as long as it takes. And when it tunes away, you take the next one. And uh, maybe you will fall asleep. But that's great. You can continue another day so it's good to do, do this practice a little time every day and maybe even when you are among people you can still have a little uh, look inside your body all the time and if you are in a really heated situation like this kind of argument i think the argument will really calm down if you can feel like your inner body you can feel the warmth in your hand the warmth in your feet because then your soul will be much more present and it will calm the situation i promise okay take good care until we meet again bye bye